Let me, before I answer that, let me just uh, pass on this breaking news. We just saw Kelly Leffler, uh, who lost her race in Georgia last night to Raphael Warnock, said on the floor, you saw her speaking there in the small box to the right, she is rescinding her objection to the certification of electors. So now what seems to be happening is that what we thought was going to be this back and forth in the swing states, that 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 is now there's been an about face. Uh, so that's a major, uh, in addition to other comments we had earlier tonight, that is a major um, uh, tea leaf to read in terms of how this night is going to go. It looks like there may not be any objections or at least drastically scaled down from where we started the day where those six, six, uh, six swing states were in question. That's a major moment for Kelly Leffler, staunch Trump ally, to say, I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh, yeah. uh, how, how do you read the yeah. significance of that moment? I, that is certainly uh, important. And, you know, frankly, if there were um, any one of those 13 uh, senators that uh, would not change their, their minds, you, you might put Kelly Leffler in that category. But um, so surprising to me that uh, she came forward and, and did that. And I think what that tells me is um, maybe this process does shorten up quite a bit. Um, because I think w what um, is important to note is that it's not when, when you bring up, let's say, you know, Georgia. Uh, it's not that all 13 senators are objecting to Georgia. Uh, only one or two may have had Georgia in their sights, and then maybe the others uh, were going to object to Pennsylvania. So what that tells me is that if you have just a handful of senators, um, maybe not all of them, but a handful that are already saying, we're not going to object, that might just take a couple of states off the table. Um, it'll be interesting to see maybe... You know, again, we'll, we'll wait and see. Maybe all of the senators uh, rescind objections. I, again, I, I doubt that just because there were 12 or 13 of them. But um, that may certainly shorten up the process if when we started the day, we thought there may be six states that get objections. Maybe that number comes down a little bit. And you, at, at least in, in a smaller way, expedite the process. But that's certainly important, not only for, for the process and for certification, but just symbolically that somebody like Kelly Leffler, who has been, um, you know, it, in the headlines because of her race, and somebody who has been such a strong uh, Trump ally. In fact, um, she had the highest what was called Trump score of any senator, meaning that she voted with his policies almost 100 percent of the time. For her to rescind her objection certainly is a symbolic statement. Well, Joe, we've always got lots of questions for you. We'll save uh, the ones we have for now for when we see you next. Uh, thank you for your perspective. We want to send